I, you, you said you understand the um, the protesters. Uh, I understand the people being economically squeezed and frustrated with how, what how things that are going on. But those particular protesters, oh, yeah. like, the reasons behind some of those people are are terrible, like getting haircuts and superficial yeah, like that. And, but and the like, people who the people who were protesting by opening their business and then getting her, and not 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 even the potential like this one guy opened his business, and he he's a tattoo man, so he opened the business in protest, but he didn't serve anyone. He was opening it to fight, to say, hey, I this is, um my only source of income and they're not giving me anything so yeah. and if they actually like and they arrested him if they actually cared about anything but like you know owning the libs um they would have been like wearing masks and shit but they didn't some some do i mean it's it's i think it's the radicals that are just crazy on both sides oh, well the I ones that i saw online I oh yeah the, the the ones in the video the ones yeah. that were like oh, they're, screaming they're in crazy. the cop's face and bringing guns to uh, state state houses they they weren't wearing masks. I didn't see one mask. Um, but then again, I I didn't really care about the issue at the time that much, anyways. Um, I but, think it's an interesting um, comparison to how um, those protesters were treated and the protesters are treated now. Um, but that's as far as that really goes to how much. It's I it's care. assumed it's assumed knowledge of like that. It's assumed that they're gonna ha behave better. That's that's all that is. The cops are just assuming that. They're going to be better, and that's, you know, messed up. You talk about the protesters that were protesting opening the government or opening the right. economy? Right, yes, um, because they were able to get that close with guns. And it's all based off of, you know, assumption. That 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 part that is definitely part of it, but at also, like, are you going to really pepper spray somebody with an AR-15? Somebody that you don't know how unhinged that person might actually be? That's true, but... I also think, I don't, I don't know. I, it's a tricky thing because it has well, to. Well, it, it can be both. It, it, it's not one or the other. This isn't a zero sum thing. It can be both. Right. I, I'm, I'm just curious what would happen because I could either go both ways. It could go, oh my god, like you never know what the people will say. Like they could be like, oh, you shouldn't have did that. It's law enforcement. Or it could go, you know, protect your rights. You know, do whatever you want. Well, that guy's wrong for pepper spraying you. I have a theory. I have a feeling a lot of these right wing people would be much more in favor of um, gun control if a bunch of black people ended up on the streets with guns protesting. I, that's just a theory that I have um, that, that that would probably come to fruition. Um, but the only way we'd actually know is if well um, if. The protests now, if they were actually, like, advertised, hey, bring your guns. And people did. And we'll see how the cops react to that. That's that's the thing. I mean, well, well, the number one thing and in, in that's annoying with the NRA, for example, and conservatives is that, like Trump, they don't do enough to denounce their own bad eggs. Mm -hmm. So while while some groups of people are, are always going to see a black man with a gun and say, oh, they're a threat, they're a threat. You know, there's other people who are like, no, he's he's exercising his Second Amendment. And as a conservative, yeah. I understand that because that's what I'm pushing for. Like, they, some people understand that. Yeah. Um, and I had posted of actually a video today of the NRA and how some of how some of them have supported African Americans. The problem is, is that there's five million people, and some of them are racist too, and some of them aren't. It's like too, yeah, yeah, too many yeah. people. And it's like, they can't really pick one side without taking someone off. Well, I believe, and I, I got this from a video from um, this guy, this guy um, whose YouTube channel is called, called Fifth of the Bew or something like that. Bo, or I, I forgot exactly how it's pronounced. Um, but he, he was making the claim that a lot of gun control um, started off from a racist perspective where, when um, black uh, people were starting to exercise their second amendment, uh, amendment right that's when a lot of people started to support gun control that may be the case uh, there's also cases where um what was i think i just saw the video and i'm forgetting what happened um i'm forgetting it but there was another case where the, where the uh, nra straight up was perfectly fine with controlling guns but it wasn't 
a racial thing. It was more. It was more so back at the time where, where, oh yeah, because the entire NRA actually was founded on, um, on teaching responsible gun ownership. That's uh-huh. the, that was actually the, originally the whole point. It wasn't about like pride in your guns or anything. It uh-huh. was literally just teaching people how to use them correctly. Yeah. Because apparently in the Civil War, the South um, knew how to take care of their guns, and the North didn't. Uh huh. To the point, to the point that the the NRA had to be founded and basically teach everyone how to responsibly use guns. And uh-huh. only only when I think it was what it, did it say the seventies or eighties when they started. When Reagan started really pushing to um, ban all these different types of guns, and that was Reagan. is when That's they was when is when they um, I believe so. I mean, he was also the war on drugs era, so it kind of makes sense. I thought Nixon was war on drugs. Which one came first? Um, you, you know what? You're right. I think you're right, but I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think Reagan. Um, I'm sure Reagan he also continued. contributed to that too. I'm sure because um the the Nixon administration the Nixon administration was the one that um the the high ranking official in his administration said yeah it was it was Nixon we can't make being black illegal and we can't make being hippies illegal but we can uh, make smoking weed and um crack illegal and uh, rain down on the communities or some shit like that Hold on, I'm gonna look up the actual quote. Yeah, that sounds about right. Reagan gun control. Yeah, the gun control was Reagan. It was passed. It simply da da da. The firearms law of yeah enacted by Ronald Reagan. Oh, probably it's nineteen sixty seven. Oh, this okay. So this was a Nixon advisor. It was what well, was enacted by Ronald Reagan. It was introduced by uh, Don Muford and John T. Knox. But Reagan enacted it. He's the one that started the war on drugs? No, no, I'm talking about the firearms law. Oh, firearms, okay. So, um, have, have you seen this before? Are, are you watching the stream? Yes, I am. Um, have you seen where uh, Nixon advisor, we create the war on drugs to criminalize black people and the anti-war left? I I believe it. Um, Hold on. What what is the actual quote? You want to know what this is really about? Where's? Can I not? I see it. I see it. It's just not centered correctly. You want to know what this is all about? He asked the Nixon campaign. It's like off to the side or something. It's like only showing half the screen. Oh shit! I didn't notice that. Um. Let's see. Video capture. Yeah, let's fix that. Yeah, it's way too big. I just want to there we go. It, it's, it's an amazing. Yeah, I see it. It says you want to know right there. Was it really? Da, da, da. Um, we we knew we couldn't make it illegal to be either against the war or black. But by getting the public to associate hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. Oh shit, did you see did you see that or no? I saw it. I saw okay. it. I was reading it. Okay. So yeah, that's that's like the war on drugs is literally a racist war. <laughs> <laughs> 